Hey everybody, Razio Ramos here again, here to do another vlog. Today I want to talk about is my reaction on the whole Daphne and Velma movie that we're getting this year. And the first time I saw this and I'm like looking at this going, there is no way this could actually be real. There is no way that this movie could actually exist. And hold me no, it was there. I saw the trailer, I saw people's reaction to it, and some people just complain about how, how can you do a Scooby-Doo movie, let alone another prequel, even though we had a prequel, with just Daphne and Velma. I mean, good God, and don't say the whole sexism thing, you know, they never contributed to everything. I've seen episodes of Scooby-Doo where Daphne took down the monster. I've seen episodes where Velma helped come up with plans to trap the monster. Hell, I can even go so far as saying that there has been episodes of, of 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo and a new Scooby-Doo mystery where Daphne became the leader of the, of the mystery crew. Or the mystery team or whatever they want to go by but that's neither here or there all I'm saying is who, who greenlighted this apparently it was Ashley Tisdale and her production company Blondie Girl I think that's the name of the, the production company that she owns who looked at Scooby-Doo and said <laughs> sorry who looked at, a, at the Scooby-Doo movie and said you know I could do a Scooby-Doo movie, but I'm going to ditch the guys and the talking dog and, and just focus on the two girls. That's like doing a King Kong movie and only focusing on the woman who King Kong was holding. I mean, yeah, because that she must be really interesting. I mean, her life must have been that interesting to, to make a movie. And I'm not saying that Velma and Daphne doesn't deserve their own movie, but is it really necessary? I mean, they could have gotten their own movie with them like okay I don't even know what I'm talking about but all I'm saying is that, that this is not right this, this whole movie this whole thing is just ignoring Scooby Doo lore it was only meant to target it to teen girls which is gonna fail the big time because you're gonna see a lot of teen girls saying wait this is a Scooby Doo series where's Fred, Shaggy, and Scooby? where are those guys? We, we tune into Scooby-Doo to see the whole mystery gang. We don't want to see just two of them and then somehow they somehow meet Fred and da Fred and Shaggy and um, Scooby. But I don't know what the fuck to, to make out with this. And I know a lot of people are going to say, Oh, you're being a sexist. You're being stupid. You're being dumb. You're complaining about a teen movie. I'm like... Yeah, I'm complaining about it because it's being made by a by a girl who watched Scooby-Doo and felt like Daphne and Velma could carry their own movie. I mean, I would have been happy if they would have done a live action Dino Mutt movie. That would have been great, seeing Frank Wilker come back as Dino Mutt. That would have been awesome, but, but this? You could clearly tell this is just made just to to capitalize on the whole WLW. If you don't know what WLW is, it's Women loving women. And a part of me feels like this was meant to be a different movie. But they just somehow um, decided to turn into a, a Velma and Daphne movie. And I've shown this to my sister-in-law and I've shown this to my brother. Hell, I'm even going to show this to my sister. And they all agree like wait how the fuck can you do a scooby-doo movie without scooby-doo i mean even ed romero thought of i even i told ed romero this and even he scratched his head and go that's just stupid and lame who who the fuck want, who the fuck would watch this shit apparently gullible kids who think that this is going to be brand new even though it isn't all i'm saying is that scooby do is is sacred to us and this whole Velma and Daphne thing I don't know where they're gonna go with this is this supposed to be like some type of cinematic universe thing where they're go we're gonna get like separate Scooby movies like the next one is just be called Shaggy and Scooby 
And then the next one will be just be a Fred Solo film. And then they do this Avengers thing. I know a lot of people use that example many times. But to me, it's just, I, it looks like that. Okay? It really does. Again, if you want to do a live-action Scooby-Doo movie without Scooby-Doo but set in the Scooby-Doo universe, I would just do a Dino Mutt movie. A Blue Falcon Dino Mutt movie would be great. A live-action in live action with a good actor, good costume and everything, that would be awesome, but this is just stupid. I'll see you guys later. Peace.